The following segment is sponsored by Gateway Foundation, Addiction Medicine, Saving Lives. Welcome back. An independent organ research group is saying the fentanyl crisis is costing the state's health system billions of dollars. Christina Giargadelli has more on that data. Since the fentanyl crisis hit the West Coast, deaths have spiked, but Oregon has seen the biggest increase. A new report from the Common Sense Institute is putting a price tag on those deaths. Mark McMullen, a retired economist for the state of Oregon, authored the report. Uh, the costs to the state economy just from uh, just the, the hospital costs and the overdose deaths alone went from about $6 billion in 2017 to uh, $31 billion today. McMullen says what's not included in that price tag is the tragic loss of life and other consequences of addiction. We don't include crime. We don't include uh, the impact on uh, lifetime earnings. We don't include the impact on migration into the state, given that, uh, you know, given that uh, a lot of times people come to Oregon, uh, come to downtown Portland and our urban areas and are smitten with the place. McMullen says the research shows that the amount of fentanyl seized in Oregon, as well as the rate of increase in overdose deaths, is far greater than other western states. He blames decriminalization. The ramp up in, in fentanyl uh, damages or costs have been pretty widespread across the west, uh, but uh, it's not a coincidence that Oregon has really uh, taken off uh, since the decriminalization efforts. The research looked at OHA data to determine the cost to hospitals. It looked at CDC data to compare overdose deaths with other states, and it looked at law enforcement data on drugs seized. We see a tremendous amount of seizures, both in terms of pills and powder. And uh, given those, the, those quantities, we're looking at uh, enough to kill every Oregonian 20 times over. And the city of Minneapolis unveils its first ever free naloxone vending machine. It's an effort to battle opioid-related overdose deaths. City officials put the vending machine outside a fire station in a neighborhood with a high rate of fatal overdoses. They say it's free and open to the public at all hours of the day. The ability to get free Narcan at a moment's notice is a critical component of making sure that people can stay alive and then making sure that they can get better. Naloxone, known as Narcan, is a nasal spray that can help temporarily reverse an overdose of opioids, including street drugs like heroin and fentanyl and prescription drugs like oxycodone. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.